Welcome back to the Daily Grind, everyone. So today we're gonna to be harvesting and curing the sweet potatoes. So about six months ago, roughly, mid-April, is when I uh, planted the slips of these sweet potatoes, but I had started about two weeks before that by making those slips. I think they're ready. So th we're, we're starting to come into fall here. We still have some warmer temperatures. I could probably let them go a little bit longer grow a little bit bigger but we are getting some cooler temperatures coming and I don't want to feel rushed into trying to get this done if I see that there's a storm coming that is going to drop the temperatures because you really want hot humid conditions for sweet potatoes that's what they want I've got a tarp here that I laid out there's my chicken coop but I've got a tarp here I'm going to go ahead and dump these into the tarp and we can filter through and see if we can't find some good sweet potatoes but by the way these two back here are the normal orange ones you get in the grocery store the boulevard or something like that i forgot how you what it's called but this one is a purple one which is really sweet so uh those are sweet of course too you know any sweet potato is kind of sweet but boy these have a lot of sugar content they're really really good for this one and this one seems like it's growing the best honestly at least the foliage i don't those kind of had some trouble in the in the really hot temperatures this seemed to do fine I mean, we did hit 108 degrees a couple days. Those never really had a whole lot of foliage, but that doesn't mean they, they won't have a lot of sweet potato roots because that's what you're trying to grow. And sometimes actually the plants that don't have a lot of foliage are focusing more on the roots. So we'll see what happens here, but let's give it a try. See how these did. This is my first year trying sweet potatoes and I did it in pots because it's much easier, but let's get to it. Let's start dumping. All right, first things first, I got to take these out. So. There we go. All right, instantly got a sweet potato. Oh, it's soft and mushy. That's not good. Oh, man. And these would have started to grow, you can see, but they're not quite doing it. Uh-oh. This might not be a good thing. Oh, there's, there's something. It's not much. We can take that off. Uh, I mean, that's going to be... We'll see if that is edible or not. All right, so now that the foliage is off, let's go ahead and bring this over and we'll dump it. Well, unfortunately, all that right there was rotten. I don't know, I think something came in and was eating it. We do have these little beetles that come in, and lay eggs, and then they, you can see all this, it's soft and squishy. Same thing with this nice one. It's soft and squishy. Uh, so these are all, you can see the end is chewed off on this one. So, but those are good, right there, those ones. That one unfortunately got chewed as well. So these are all the bad ones. We'll put it right here, off to the side. We'll stick these over there. Ooh. There we go. Uh oh. Uh oh. Boy, that's a good one too. But look at this. I don't know if you guys can see it, but that got all chewed and now there's little maggots in there. Darn, because this one's firm and everything. It's not rotten, but there's little potholes all over it. Look at all that. They, uh, they got chewed. Darn.
All right, so this one was much better. You can see just how much I got. And actually one of them is here, uh, just because that one got rotten. These are all firm, but they've got all those pot marks in them. So I'm gonna see if I can't figure out how to kind of clean these up and maybe they'll be all right. I don't know how deep those drill holes are in them. I better check these for that too. It doesn't look like those have it though. So whatever kind of maggot got in this just ate up all the sweet potatoes. That would have been a decent harvest there too, for one. All right, this is the one, of course, that has all the foliage. So I don't know if that's good or bad. Let's give it a try. There we go, guys, and that's a good one. Well, would you check it out? We finally got a decent harvest. I mean, it's not huge, but these are very expensive in the store. I mean, look at that one. That's a good one right there. Um, some of these are a little small, um, but I'll have to go ahead and cure those. This is the only plant that actually did decent enough and didn't get chewed up and rot. Uh, if you look here, look at all these rotten ones. They're just, it's gross. Uh, they got destroyed by something. And then here, these are firm and they look good, but they've got all these little chew holes all over them. So we'll see how those go. This one is spongy. That one can't use. But there we go. So I definitely think this is the winner. Uh, nothing seemed to chew that one. Definitely next year be growing this variety. No question. I might try again with this, but I'm only going to do one pot with this kind. The one that you get in the grocery store with this. I'll definitely do a couple pots of it because that, that did really well. All right, now we need to cure these. We're just gonna put these into a um, container like this. You can brush off some of the dirt, but a little bit of dirt isn't gonna hurt anything. And I'm gonna take these inside and I'll show you what I do to cure these. Right here, I've got a mat, um, like a uh, something they use for seedlings, a heat mat. I'm gonna set this right on top. And the reason why is these sweet potatoes need to be at 80 to 90% humidity and 85 degrees. So I've got this right here, and this is going to keep a regulated temperature. So I take this, and I'm just gonna set this right in there, and we're gonna put the top on, and that should hold that heat in. And I've got a little thing of water in there, and that should hold the humidity. Now, unfortunately, I dumped a little bit and that got wet. I think it'll be all right, it should dry. Um, but you don't want these like obviously soaking, but this should be enough to keep that humidity in. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab the top and put this on. And we'll leave this for seven days. I hear it's like four to 14 days. Um, we'll try it at seven. I'll pull some out and cook them, see how sweet they are. And then we can leave them longer if we need. And then they should stay shelf stable for a long time. You know, sweet potatoes, they, they seem to last a while in the, um, in the cellar. So this is one of our favorite things to eat. Um, they're really sweet, especially if you cook them in high uh, temperature for a while. Uh, it really brings out that sweetness, but you need to cure it like this in order to get the sweetness. Otherwise, they will be starchy. They won't be as, as sweet. You need to do this uh, high humidity curing and then store them in somewhere cool. Um, of course, you want this dark. So I've got this window here that um, I'm just going to keep that closed over it. And this should be good for seven days. And then we'll try it. 